Hello everyone. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to protect your Azure uh, function app with uh, Azure AD uh, authentication. Uh, but just before that, uh, to recap what we did with the uh, Azure function app before in previous videos, uh, um, I give you a bit of context and summary quickly. We built a functional project, we talked about the authorization level, we created a, a function method uh, with the authorization level of function, and then we deployed that to Azure, and we called that from Postman. So uh, if I go to Azure portal, you see that I've got this my demo function app deployed here, and if I show you my Postman, uh, uh, I've set up a uh, postman to call this uh, function app method. Uh, we've got this x functions key uh, key name here in the headers, and we grab the function app key from the Azure portal and set it here. Um, in the body, I've got just a j simple JSON. Uh, including a name attribute and some value for that. So if I click on the send, you see we've got 200 as a response, and this is the function app uh, <clears throat> response uh, that we have here in the postman. And just quickly, if I add something to this function key and click on send, you see that we get unauthorized. Uh, so it works perfectly fine. What we want to do in this video is adding one more uh, extra layer of security uh, to your function app and make your function app secure uh, by Azure AD. Uh, to do that, we don't need to do anything in your uh, ID, which might be Visual Studio or any ID that you use. Or, and uh, just close the Visual Studio. Uh, any configuration that we need to make uh, is done through the Azure portal. So we go to the Azure portal. Obviously, if you want to automate your deployment, you can use ARM template for this configuration as well. But in this video, I just want to uh, go you and uh, take you through the process in Azure portal. So, in the function app that I've deployed to the uh, Azure, we go to the authentication and click Add Identity Provider. You can pick up different identity provider, including Facebook, Google, Twitter, and Microsoft Azure AD Identity. We pick up Microsoft in this video and uh, set create new app registration in app registration type in the name you can give it a name but just uh, leave the default value uh, in the name field you select uh, current tenant or single tenant and uh, we say it requires the authentication otherwise if you choose the allow unauthenticated access um, users can access this uh, function app without authentication so we pick up this one and because function app is a kind of api and uh, we just pick up this option http 401 unauthorized uh, for the unauthenticated request is returned and we click next in the permissions uh, screen we just accept default and click on add. The identity provider is added here to the authentication screen and uh, app registration is created for this, uh, for this function app actually. So if we go back to the postman now, and try to call this function app again, you see we get the unauthorized response because now 
this function app is protected by AD. And what that means is if you want to access this function app method, uh, you need to get a valid token from Microsoft Identity Platform and then use that token as a better token when you want to call this uh, function app method. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, setting up Postman to call this function app after this change. So if we go to the authorization tab in Postman, you need to choose Oath2 and then we have a different setting here. We go to them and uh, put the relevant stuff in each field. So the first thing we need to put in is a name here. Just name it test token. Um, leave the grant type authorization code. Um, Tick the authorize using browser and for the both URL and access token URL uh, we need to grab this uh, stuff from Azure portal so if you go to the portal uh, in function app in the authentication screen app registration is created if I click on that app registration it goes to the app registration screen. There is a button on top. It's called endpoints. If you click on the endpoints, uh, it gives you all relevant endpoints for this Azure subscription. So what we are after is uh, Oath2 authorization endpoint and Oath2 token endpoints. So uh, we need to grab these two uh, endpoint and the first one, which is the authorization endpoint, goes to Oath URL. The second one goes to the access token URL. Then you need client ID for that app registration. Go back to the portal, copy the client ID. Come back to the postman. Right here. We need client secret for this app registration. Go back to the portal, go to the certificate and secret. Secret is generated automatically by the system because we don't have access to its value. We can just create a new secret. That's fine. Just name it secret one and add now we have the secret value copy that go to the postman paste it here for the scope we go back to the portal and click on expose an api copy this scope from here go back to postman it there leave a state blank leave client authentication as is and uh, that's pretty much this what you need to do here is clicking on get new access token if you click on get new access token uh, a browser window uh, is displayed on the screen and you need to log in using your uh, Azure AD account. So I pause the video, log in with my account and then resume the process again. All right, when I put in my uh, username and password, uh, I get this error which is complaining about the uh, mismatch between reply URL uh, in uh, Azure app registration. So what we need to do to fix this issue, we need to go to Azure portal. And uh, in the app registration the screen, if we go to the authentication, you see already 
there is a redirect URI here. We need to add another one for the postman and add this value to that. HTTPS colon slash slash um, post dot postman dot io slash v1 slash callback and we need to save it go back to postman and retry again this time after putting my username and password my ad username and password uh, i see this message which is good news your call is authenticated so you just can close this browser window go back to uh, postman for some reason the token is not there so I need to retry the process again so just retry the process again uh, my pop-up blocker in the browser was enabled so I had to disable that pop-up blocker and then it worked so now we've got the token uh, here the access token we click on use token and the token is copied here into access token field now if we go uh, and retry this request again here you go we got 200 and function app is returning the uh, value as expected uh, so this way you can call and test your function app method after protecting that by azure ad account uh, once you are happy with your test result definitely you want to hook that up to a consumer application which might be a windows application or a web application or a mobile application or whatever uh, in uh, next videos, I'll try to cover how you can uh, call a protected Azure function app method uh, from a consumer application. Uh, but just to give you a quick uh, uh, context around that, you need to use MSAL or Microsoft Authentication Library in your project and using that to uh, called the protected uh, API method um, but for this video uh, I think we covered only calling uh, um, protected Azure function app from Postman <clears throat> thanks for watching this video uh, if it was helpful please subscribe and like uh, to support us for making more videos Thanks for watching and bye.